In a sentence, singletons are the best damn thing that's ever happened to me. In two sentences, singletons are really cool. God damn do I love singletons. Uh, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you might remember a screenshot wherein I showed off that I used like 15 singletons in warp tech. Why do I do this? Because I really, really like singletons. I wasn't joking. So for those of you who have no idea what singletons are, they are basically scripts that get automatically loaded when the game starts up and can be accessed from anywhere. As of Godot 3.0, you can just type the name of the singleton and call functions, methods, access variables, etc. from anywhere else in the uh, any other script file. And this also means that when you change scenes, you can preserve certain things. Normally when you run the getTree.changeScene function, it wipes almost everything, and you have to start repopulating the scene with new nodes. So if you want to preserve things like player health points, room data, stuff like that, you can just store that data in a singleton node and it'll be preserved for easy access afterwards. For a practical example, I use a singleton called Graphics Manager to keep track of graphic settings. This would include data regarding anything that would show up on an options menu. That way, whenever I'm spawning or processing an entity, I just have to check it against the variables stored in Graphics Manager and enable disable components accordingly. For a more uh, tangible in, uh, example, I could make an option to enable or disable light effects. So all I would have to do would be to make a variable called something like lights enabled, and then just check if it's true or false. And if it's false, I would delete or disable any light nodes. It's as easy as that. Another super cool use of singleton nodes is to play music that doesn't have to chop off between scenes. All you have to do is make sure that the script file extends audio stream player, just replace node at the top with audio stream player, load in a music file and you run the play function just as you would a normal audio stream player node. And you can do some fancy stuff with this, I have a few nice functions that make things easier such as selecting a random song from a pre-approved list of songs, uh, or playing a specific uh, song from the list, etc. There's a, there's a bunch of nice things. I even have a nice fade in thing, uh, that, that was a pain, I had to make like another audio stream player for that one. But that's getting a bit too complicated, but the point is there's a lot of flexibility. Uh, and now my favourite use for singletons, which is my giant monolithic resources script. I'm sure I've mentioned this before because I am pretty proud of it, but basically what it does is preload almost every resource that I need to instance throughout the game, uh, but since it's a singleton, it does this preloading right on startup. This makes it take maybe half a second longer to start up than it used to, but honestly, I, I just integrated Steamworks and that adds like 1.5, maybe 2 seconds of the startup time, so I'm really not bothered about an extra 0.5, especially when it drastically reduces the number and severity of lag spikes that result from instancing so many objects. Plus, it's just really nice to have. I put some of the nodes into dictionaries if they all hold a common theme, such as enemies, bosses, etc. I should have also put boss attacks into their own dictionaries per each boss, but I didn't, so that's why it's kind of a horrible mess at the moment. And that's pretty much all I've got to say about singleton nodes right now anyway. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, I seriously need more video ideas. And I'm not really sure what kind of thing my lovely viewers and subscribers want me to make. I can make game analyses maybe, but I've never tried that before. I can make tutorials if you really, really want me to. I can explain something less specific and technical, like a game design or theory type thing, I don't know. Please give me something to do. Also, sorry about missing uploads for the past week, I don't know, I wrote this script a while ago, this may or may not even be applicable. Um, I, I, yeah, I have, I, I'm reading this script, I have, I should be recording these in advance so I have a nice comfy, comfy backlog. This is the third video that I've recorded in this block, because I'm doing the backlog thing now. So I guess I'll just, re I'll read the end. Stay tuned for more videos that are probably not the result of a nice comfy backlog, that's a damn lie. I wrote that, that's a damn lie. This is a this is a backlog video. Uh, goodbye. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, I said all that stuff. Alright, so because I can't remember to self-promote to save my life, I have to add this bit on the end separately, so feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment, do all that stuff that's good for the YouTube algorithms, and by extension, me. Also, I have a Patreon, so you can get beta copies of Warp Tech for only $1 a month if you so desire. The link to that is, of course, in the description, you complete and absolute gremlin people.